is doing. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. And developers, if you are watching this uh, video, uh, can you do like a remake of like number two and number one? Since you did this one, since you did number four, since you did this one and number three, which I will play number three.
Chan's really hurting! Heal her!
this strength of yours. Come, my prince. Everyone has something they can't show to other people, or don't want to admit to themselves. Yukiko, I'm sorry. I was so self-centered that I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still... I'm so sorry. Chie, I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. You had everything that I didn't. The jealousy was like a wall, and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me. I can't do anything right on my own. If you weren't by my side, I... I wouldn't know what to do. Chie, I never saw the real you, either. I was too busy trying to find an easy way out. are part of me too. I understand now. You're me. Yukiko! Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little tired. You all came to rescue me. Thank you. <laughs> Don't even mention it. 
Someone threw Yukiko-san in here. Uh -huh. Then it really isn't you guys. <laughs> Just joking. You little... You're one lime sack of honey. Anyways, let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. Thanks again, Teddy. about you live here well yeah but i'm sorry teddy i promised to come again so be a good boy and wait here until then my it's getting crowded here why don't you and i go somewhere else come on ready please ah you're giving me the creeps that's it you're stuck here for the rest of your life state that Yukiko-san was, um, attacked the same way as the last two victims. And I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. No, Teddy was saying something like that. <sighs> it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. What kind of person could be doing this? really needs to get some rest. I'll take her home. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. I can still work you harder, you know. <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. on the force too but this doesn't mean the case is closed though we were just questioning Miss Maki but she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing and we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period either it's like she really disappeared it's all pretty fishy if you ask me like there's something else going on ow stop blabbering dumbass sorry 
Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy. Police aren't common hazy to believe everything they hear. He's just muttering to himself. Don't take it seriously. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're right. My stomach's growling too. <laughs> so you do have a softer side around Nanako chan, sir. Shut up and sit down. And wash those hands first. I should do the same. I'm just gonna end it.